How you doing? This is Aaron Nelson with the New Orleans Pelicans, here to show you a few exercises to do at home while we try to flatten the curve. These exercises are also done with our players. They do it a little more uh, strenuous than what I'm going to show you. These are very basic things, but something we can all do at home by ourselves or with our family members. With the help of my family, we'll show you a few exercises that I think will help you out. The first exercise being demonstrated by my wife, Jessica, will be a plank or a prone ab. You get down and keep your body flat. You're on your elbows and your toes, keeping space between the floor and your body with your butt down and a flat surface. To add in some extra work, you can go to the sides and hold a prone iso ab on the side. Another exercise for the spine and core is the floor bridge. Again, start with your butt on the floor, two legs out in front of you bent, and then raising up and holding three to four seconds and then slowly lowering back down. This is a great exercise for uh, gaining some back stability. Another exercise for the spine and core is what we call opposite arm, opposite leg, where we'll balance and hold a position going with one arm and then the opposite leg and holding for three to four seconds. Obviously a great upper body exercise is the push-up. My daughter Emma will show you the push-up and then going in a push-up with a rotation. Then back down and rotate to the other side. Awesome. As we look at lower extremity exercises, we'll start with the lunge. The lunge should be done in three planes of motion. We'll do the front lunge, the side lunge, and then a transverse plane lunge. It's important to do these in the three different motions as well as doing them correctly. Keeping the knee over the second, third toe and making sure the feet stay straight ahead. One more time, Drew. Front lunge, keep the knee over the second, third toe. Side lunge, and then a transverse plane lunge, which a rotational lunge is very important to help avoid uh, injuries if you're an active athlete. Another common low extremity exercise is the squat. My son Logan to demonstrate the two-legged squat and the single leg squat. The single leg squat's great for balance and stability, but you need to work up to it. So you always start with the two-legged squat and then the single leg squat. Go ahead, Logan, with the two-leg. Awesome, one more. And let's do a single leg squat, one to the right and one to the left. Awesome. When we do these exercises, we'll do two to three sets and anywhere from 10 to 15 repetitions. And if you want to make them a little more difficult, then we'll add in some weights with a dumbbell or kettlebell. So we have the double leg squat and the single leg squat. We want to add in some cardiovascular exercise to it. We'll do a squat jump. So we'll get the strength of the squat and then jump to work on a cardiovascular. Okay, let's do it. Work on explosion and jump. Squat and jump. Squat and jump. And we'll do a couple, two, three sets of 15 of these as well. Hopefully you find these exercises fun and useful. Do two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps and group the exercises into six to eight exercises. Pick the ones that you like to work with or the ones that are gonna challenge you. Do them by yourself or with your family and get a routine daily while we try to flatten the curve.